Let's bring in Ray Pepp. He is the CEO of Advent Access and joins me around the desk at the SGX this morning. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. First of all, explain to me how AV Guardian works. Sure. AV Guardian is the world's first uh, medical device pioneering the concept of having a Guardian guide door to the dialysis vein known as an AV fistula, but it's non-invasive to this vein. So um, what uh, uh, today, uh, 85 to 90 percent of the patients with kidney failure uh, actually needs to sus go through a therapy known as hemodialysis to sustain their lives. And this is where you need to draw up to 60 liters of blood out of the body, remove the toxins from the blood and return this blood back to the body. And for that to be possible, a surgeon needs to specially create a vein known as the AV fistula for that to happen. So placing the needle on the AV fistula is actually right now the most technically challenging part of the entire treatment and often the most stressful. So if it's not well placed, uh, patients uh, could develop complications. Uh, dialysis could be inadequate, leading to more hospitalizations. Mm. So what the uh, AV Guardian uh, aims to do is the following uh, three areas. Number one, we want to improve the reliability of successful vascular access and reducing the skill variability among uh, uh, cannulators. Number two, we want to reduce the cannulation pain and trauma, trauma for these patients. And number three, in the long run, we believe that uh, we are able to reduce the wear and tear of the AV fistula and potentially reducing hospitalization and surgeries. And so what's the end experience for those who are receiving dialysis? Because I mm. assume that means that there's less needles going in. It's just one simple uh, implant, if you will, into their arm or where they're receiving dialysis. Is it a more comfortable experience for them? Uh, we believe so. Uh, it will be a pair of implants that uh, a patient will be uh, implanted. It's a simple implant we place underneath the skin. Uh, what we are able to do uh, with the implant is we are able to engineer a, a precise and a self-sealing uh, scar track uh, upon which uh, a patient will be able to access their blood for dialysis with a blunt needle. So uh, we've actually got uh, good uh, um, results and experience from our first clinical study. Uh, in fact, one of the cases that uh, my team and I are very heartened is we've uh, seen a patient uh, change uh, his or her mind about this continuing this uh, therapy because they have a very positive experience with AV Guardian being less painful and uh, less trauma to her whole uh, overall treatment. And the end goal here is to eventually have patients be able to do it themselves, right? Uh, great, this is a great question then. So uh, on top of uh, AV Guardian, we see as a guardian guide door to the pre precious lifeline, the uh, AV fistula. We see the AV Guardian as also a door to empower patients to the future of independent dialysis. So um, right now, um, kidney failure has become a chronic disease that's really uh, crippling healthcare systems. And it's an it's a $85 billion market that healthcare systems spends on and uh, patient numbers uh, is primed to double to 5.4 million people with Asia accounting for most of this growth. So today, just building more infrastructure heavy and labor intensive traditional dialysis center is not a sustainable model. Uh, and patients are actually also living longer, uh, but not necessarily uh, better. So a lot of the patients now, their lives still revolves around plugging themselves into the machine uh, five to six hours, uh, five, no, four to five hours a day, at least three times a week. A lot of them uh, have the wish to restore their independence. So what the AV Guardian's uh, uh, additional dimension we hope to disrupt is really to be a vascular access uh, 2.0 platform that will unlock uh, the emerging HD 2.0 platforms such as uh, uh, home hemodialysis or phaco nocturnal dialysis. And a lot of these uh, emerging uh, uh, advanced dialysis uh, therapies are now uh, being bottlenecked because vascular access is the most technically challenging portion and patients are not able to have so, so as much of a confidence to perform vascular access independently. Mm. And you have some pretty big backers for the commercialization of this technology as well. You recently raised $2.6 million in pre-Series A financing. This was the largest round by a medtech company in Southeast Asia. So what do you intend on doing with that cash and how will it help you to commercialize this, this implant? Sure. So uh, we've completed our uh, first clinical study and we're seeing the results are encouraging. So uh, a major part of the funds will be uh, utilised for obtaining regulatory approval for us to be ready for global commercialisation. Mm -hmm. uh, a part of the funds will also be for us to complete an ongoing second clinical study that's uh, recruiting patients internationally.
Very interesting. Very interesting. And you plan to bring this to market in 2019, is that correct? Uh, yes, okay. that's right. We really appreciate it, Ray Peng. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And that is where we'll leave the CEO of Advent Access, our latest Shake It Up segment.